Hi guys, welcome to today's video here in my garage. No, don't panic, you haven't pressed the wrong button. I'm not gonna take you for an indoor cycling class. Today, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of magic. Maybe, hopefully. And I'm gonna be doing it on my fantastic white 905. So what am I gonna be doing today? What magic am I gonna be producing? Well, you're gonna to have to wait a little bit longer for that. I'm gonna build the suspense and then surprise you at the end. Hopefully, maybe. Anyway, there's a couple of other things I need to show you on the 905 since you last saw her at Woburn when I was having a bit of a meltdown. Okay, so I'm having a little breather. I kind of realized that uh, so far today, all I seem to do or been doing is whining, moaning, complaining. And uh, yeah, I'm, I've just had a little word with myself because, uh, you know, I should be happy. I'm out here on my bike. Yeah. Uh, let's go through those first and then we'll build the suspense a little bit more. So what upgrades have we done since you last saw her? Well, as you all know, if you've watched my riding videos, I absolutely detest SRAM brakes. No brakes. I'll say it again. SRAM brakes. Fucking worst brakes you can ever put on a bike. I find them horrible to use. They don't work. There's too much modulation. They're too soft. The lever pulls back too much. No matter how much you bleed them, I just hate SRAM brakes. So I've gone the whole hog. I've changed over to Shimano. My favorite brakes of all time. And on this bad boy, I've added Shimano XTR bling brakes. So they're two pots. The original SRAM ones were four pots, but for a hardtail like this, no need to go over the board. So I've gone for the XTR two pots with the IceTech 180 rotors front and back, just to add to that superb feel on the Shimano brakes. wait to take her out in the wild and use her properly with those brakes. Also, I've treated her to some new boots as well. So we have now got Maxxis Minion DHF front and rear, just for that added little bit of grip. Obviously it's a tubeless setup. I don't run tubes on any of my bikes. So yet yeah, hopefully that will solve that slosh problem that we had back in November time when we last took her out. It's really damp. So buggy. We had so much rain yesterday that I knew it was going to be bad. I didn't think it was going to be this bad. So, why have I upgraded the bike? Well, I might have mentioned in another video that obviously we're currently in lockdown, which means I can't drive anywhere to go mountain biking. That wouldn't be so bad if I didn't hate road cycling as much as I hate road cycling. Nearly as much as I hate tram brakes, nearly. I used to do a lot of road riding, back in the day when I was doing triathlons, etc., but I just find it boring. Now, I bought myself a gravel bike last year, hoping that that would be that crossover between mountain biking, off-road riding, bit of road riding, all in one. 
and it did, it was great, I loved it. Doing, doing that cross country style of riding was fantastic. What wasn't fantastic is I hated the drop handlebars. I felt out of control. As we all know, my skill level is not particularly great. And I just, it just took the enjoyment out of riding away because I was too nervous. I was really stiff on the bike. I fell off a lot. And uh, yeah, I just really didn't enjoy it. So I needed to do something different. I borrowed Stu's Cannondale FSI, which is a cross country, carbon cross country bike, which is basically a short travel hardtail. I took that out on a cross country loop that we've done on the gravel bikes. And wow, what a difference. I absolutely loved it. I felt in control, I felt comfortable. Yeah, it was a little bit slow on the road, but at the end of the day, I'm not into speed. I just wanna get out on the bike as much as I can and enjoy it. And that's what it's all about for me. So the decision was made to get a cross country bike. However, COVID struck again. As you all know, I'm sure by now, there are literally no bikes in the country currently. And there won't be any new bikes coming into the country unless you've pre-ordered one until at least next year. I spoke to Cannondale and I said, look, looking for an FSI, yeah, May next year, possibly. That's too long, I can't wait that long. So this is why I've come up with this magic trick. We had a little chat about it, to see what we could do with my existing bikes to give myself another one. And this is how we've done it. So, are you ready for the magic? Here it comes, we're gonna make one bike into two by, ready? Changing the wheel set. <laughs> so, these are DT Swiss XM1700 wheels, okay? Took me a little bit of time to get hold of these because of obviously the pandemic, et cetera, et cetera, but I finally, finally got them. The main difference between these wheels and the standard wheels, apart from the fact they are lighter cross-country wheels, is they're 29ers. Surprise! However, they're 29ers with 2.2 Continental Race Kings on them, compared to the original 27.5 with 2.8 tires on them. So I'm hoping, and I'm being assured that this is gonna work, that if I put this on there, it's gonna be roughly the same sort of size. And that will then transform my 905 into a cross country machine. So there you go guys, that's the magic trick where I've turned one bike into two. That was better. Getting new bikes is really exciting, but I don't think this year it's going to be the case because of the supply and demand situation. So get out there, have a little bit of lateral thinking, see what upgrades you can put on your bike. Let me know in the comments down below if you have done anything major to your bike, or if you want to know a little bit more information about the 905 or any of the parts that I've put on a, in this video. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, do us a favor, give us a subscribe. So thanks for watching today, guys. Hopefully the next video will be out on the white, giving her a test ride for the first time. So I look forward to you joining me for that one. As always, stay safe, follow the rules, and we'll be out of this sooner rather than later. Look after yourselves. Cheers, guys. See you in the next one.